God bless and welcome to this quick little video I have for you guys. Someone actually left a comment and was wondering if I use an oil restrictor or what I do with my turbo. Um, with this particular setup and these GT35 turbos, their general bearings, I don't use oil restrictors. I actually just use this 3AN 2716-24 inverted flare. I linked this. It comes with two of them. Linked it in the description of my previous video. So if you want to get one for your GT35 turbo like this, as long as it's not ball bearing, um, this works fine. As you can see, there's no restrictor. It's a pretty decent sized hole. And I have never had an issue. Even my K-Swap Mazda B2300 truck um, didn't have issues with smoking or anything like that when running just no restrictor. Now, the lowest size you would want to go on a journal bearing is a 0 .060 or a 0 .080. Um, that's the lowest you would go. I have ran none and had no issues. When I did run a restrictor, I actually blew seals because it starved the bearing for oil. And as long as you have a good return line set up and it's as straight as possible and quick flowing, then it should be fine. Now with ball bearings, you do need an oil restrictor. You will have to look up whatever ball bearing turbo you have for that information. But on my particular setup, no, I don't use an oil restrictor. Now this thing runs about 25 PSI to 30 PSI at idle. Um, so it's really not too high of pressure on idle, but when going all the way to rev limiter, it's around 90 PSI, maybe a smidge higher. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I run on this. And this is literally just for brakes. So this is what you get this line for. It's for brakes, so you can do custom brakes and stuff. But it works good. I put a little gasket sealer kind of hard to see but I put a little gasket sealer around the threads tighten it down and it's good to go so that's what I use for my journal bearing turbo and it made 315 horsepower on my k-swap k20a3 engine on that truck with the same pretty much the exact same setup just without the very nice Jack Spania uh, manifold there so that's what I basically run for the oil feed on this I do not again do not use oil restrictors unless it starts smoking at idle then you will need to get probably the highest restrictor which would be a 0 0.080 uh, that restrictor would restrict it just enough if it does start smoking at idle but i have not had that issue yet and uh yeah that's basically what i use so i hope this information has helped someone and uh, if you guys haven't seen the newest video which i posted before this one please go do so i will see you guys in the next video if god is willing Unless they say stay awesome. Jesus loves you.